a disappointing defeat over today. Um, what are your thoughts on that game? Extremely disappointing. Um, got off to the worst possible start. I think we won after what three minutes. Um, I didn't catch by surprise as such, it's just kind of summed up what's been the last six games now really, um, sluggish start. We then kind of regrouped, um, started passing the ball but it was never really a threat, not much tempo to our play, they always looked comfortable and then the last 15 minutes then, every time we lost it, that we looked really vulnerable exposed, um, lack of legs, uh, lack of recovery runs. Yeah, we were not fortunate as such but we were probably great, grateful to be only 1-0 but then you think, okay, half time, well, the game wasn't out of our sight as such, it was, it was well and truly in our hands. Um, we came out second half, energy was a lot better, we huffed and puffed, but I don't think we've really created any clear cut chances. A couple of half chances, got the ball in decent areas, but we haven't tested their goalie all game, and which kind of just typifies really the last, the last six games, really, where yeah, we've had six games, no goals, and today was probably the most disappointing one, really, because you go into it, you think, okay, you've got off the back of a hard spell in terms of the teams we've played, you think, right, chance now then to get it back into our, our own hands, and you yeah, we've just a very, very soft, disappointing defeat, really. And like I said, not even to test a goalie again today. Um, yeah, very concerning. Um, what are your thoughts from a player perspective? Yeah, I think I echo a lot of what Ryan said. Um, I think we're obviously in a difficult place at the moment, uh, confidence-wise. Um, and you tend to find when you're in those spells that every mistake you make seems to be uh, capitalised on by the opponents, um, which is what they had. I mean, look, they were, they were the better side probably in the first half, but you know, I don't feel like they were massively threatening our goal all the time. Um, but look, we were punished for a mistake uh, from from our point of view. Um, and then, as Ryan said, got a little bit better in the second half, but never really looked like scoring. Um, and that's obviously a concern that we need to address as a group um, because it's not just today that that's been the case. It's obviously been like that for five or six games now. Um, so yeah, it's one that we need to go away and assess um, and we need to make sure we come back come back better and uh, try and find the answers between now and, and Saturday. So I wanted to touch on that, I suppose you have to address the elephant in the room. Um, six losses, but more concerningly, not scoring a goal in those six. Um, I guess with, with the games to go, how do you try and change that and how do you just get that ball to go over the line? You don't feel sorry for yourself, it's the first thing you don't do. Um, things like that, you, you take full control of it, responsibility for it. It's not being good enough to have six games, like you mentioned, we're not scoring. And yeah, is it, is it an easy answer? Probably not, no. Um, but as management team, coaching staff, we have to find the solution to it. And then it's down then to the players then to put the ball in the back of the net, to be honest with you. Um, you hope that we cry out just for, if, if the ball just hits off somebody and goes in and then it might lead them to more goals as such. Um, you can tell that some of our players are lacking confidence. Again, couple of the, got the ball in good areas today and to not get shots off. Whereas probably six, seven, eight games ago, we are getting them shots off on goal. Um, so yeah, I, I wouldn't say that it's a simple answer with that, but all you can do is just work really, really hard, um, as Matt, like I said, as coaching staff, to try and find a solution for it work on it and then it's down then to the players then and hopefully uh, that can change and we can get a much better positive performance and result and score a goal going into Stratford which is obviously is a, is a massive massive game. And then on the pitch um, Callum obviously you were before your injury we were doing well and you were in the side um, we've obviously dropped off a little bit that's evident for everyone to see. Do you feel like there's anything that's changed on the pitch? I know we've obviously had things going on in the background with, with, with the manager but we, tend to, we look like we're playing the same way, same shape, same personnel. Um, what do you feel is, I guess, going wrong just on the pitch itself? I think it's um, it's easy to just isolate the results over the last six weeks and think that there's been a huge change. Um, in terms of the performances, I think we've probably played similar way um, at times across the season. And when you're in good form, uh, when the confidence is there, you find a way to win those games, whether it be a set piece or, you know, you nick a scruffy goal at the end and go and win the game. And everybody sort of thinks three points, brilliant, keep rolling with that momentum. I think when you're at the other end of the scale, which we are at the moment, it's probably highlighting that our performances need to change. Um, we need to be better. Uh, I think we probably need to take more risks in terms of getting more bodies forward. Um, 
and trying to commit people forward to score goals. Um, but I think it's probably a case of similar performances at times to what we've had, but we keep finding ourselves on the wrong end of results at the moment, which when you play against difficult teams like we have, uh, they're in good form. You probably get punished for, for any flaws in your game, whereas we probably weren't doing that earlier in the season. So I think it's one of those where at the moment um, we're in a rough rough spell. There's, there's no getting away from that and we can't back away from that as a group and as a staff as well. You know, we have to take it on the chin. But we've got four games to go. We have to stick together and, and try and get as many points on the board as we can. As you mentioned, four games to go. Last month of the season, um, Stratford on Saturday, slightly ahead of us at the moment. I guess without putting the pressure on, is that arguably our biggest game of the season leading to that game for what the team and the club want to achieve for the next season? Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, obviously, the league table now doesn't lie. I think they're four points ahead of us is at the gap. So um, we have to go there and we have to go and win the game. Um, how we do that, again, like I said, the staff, players will will address that on Thursday. Um, try and put a game plan in then for Saturday. But something does need to change. I think of the last six games, the Leamington one was in terms of overall performance, probably the best we had in terms of we did actually create a couple of chances in that. We just got done, we just got done by poor goals defensively, but that was a, a more ready performance like I think today was we took a step backwards today I don't think that we've really got into our rhythm against Starbridge who obviously came with a bit of a game plan to sit back and then counter us um, we need to so that wasn't acceptable today. We need to get back to our levels, um, regardless of creating chances stuff like that. We need to start to control games more and work a lot harder and stop teams from getting into our final third as easy as we did. Stratford's going to be a real big test. It's going to be how we've seen that the first game down here uh, where um, we were to get the win, but they had 10 men. They made it really hard for us. But that's not for us. We're not going there thinking we're going to roll over. No, it's, we've got four games left, four points behind out of the playoffs. It's well and truly in our hands still. It just takes, like I mentioned, takes that one win, that one goal just to bounce in and go, uh, and go in the net. We win the game one now. Then it, then it's completely then uh, it's game on again for that. So we need everyone to be positive. Staff need to be positive. Players need to be positive. It does need to improve. There's no denying that. But the perfect opportunity to get back in it next Saturday. So it's going to be tough. But we're going there with a positive attitude, positive mindset, and yeah, we we, we need to win that game. And then just lastly, um, for you, Callum, mm -hmm. from a player perspective, I think it's quite clear as a collective and individuals are down on confidence, deflated after mm -hmm. things aren't going their way or making a bad decision, those sort of things. When you've only got four games to go and you are still within reach of of what everybody wants, uh, which is the playoffs, how do you, I guess, get yourself to go again and instill that bit of confidence that we used to have? I think it's about going back to what made us successful earlier in the season when we were putting in good performances. I think it's um, it's very easy to focus on the results, uh, which everybody does. You know, they look at league tables, they look at whatever apps they look at for scores, and just think Redditch are finished. But ultimately, we have to go back to what made us a good side earlier in the season. Um, and if we can go and put four good performances in um, in the way that we played earlier in the season, that's what's going to trigger the results. I think if we go in and just focus purely on oh my god panic let's, we'll, let's just find any way to win um, you've got no base to fall back on in, in terms of your principles so we have to go back to what made us a good team focus on four good performances and ultimately see where see where it takes us